Brick Chick here with a review on the Lego Architecture Treby Fountain. Set number 21020 contains 731 pieces and is recommended for ages 12 and up. So I just thought this set looked cool and it had a lot of good white pieces that I needed. Looks like a really cool and detailed fountain. And on the back it actually shows the real one so it looks almost exactly like the real one. So let me go ahead and open up the box. Alright, so when you first start opening it, it says, Enjoy your building experience. I thought that was cool. I've never seen a Lego set that said that before. So it just opens up like this. It's a little different than normal Lego sets that aren't architecture sets. So it looks like there are a lot of bags in there. So there is a bag of larger pieces. A bag of some smaller pieces. A bag with, like, medium-sized pieces. And another bag. And... Another bag of mostly transparent blue pieces, and I think this is the last bag of smaller pieces. And then there's just this pamphlet in here. Oh, and wow, a very nice, thick instruction booklet. So that is very cool. So, let me get building on the Lego Architecture Trevi Fountain. Alright, so here's the Trevi Fountain all assembled. And I have to say, I'm very impressed with this build. Even, like, just the little details, they just definitely add to the overall just detail and awesomeness of this set. And I did compare it to the picture of the, um, real Trevi fountain on the back, and it looks very similar. And I could even see, like, which pieces they use for which, you know, for the different parts of the actual fountain. So, first off... There is a really cool tile on the front that says Trevi Fountain, so that's a nice piece. So I'll just go ahead and do a full 360 view of this set, just so you can get an idea of how big and detailed it is. So first off, I just love how they use this like transparent medium blue plates all over there. It just looks so awesome and makes it look like real water. I love how they put the rocks in there, just like in the real fountain, you know, to kind of break it up. And in the real fountain, the water is bright blue, too. So they definitely did a good job on that. And they also used these, like, mini, mini figures, I'm going to call them, to represent the um, three statues up there on the real fountain. And they even made, like, the little horses on there, like in the real fountain. It just looks really awesome and I love it. I love how they did the columns here and the windows on the building in the back. And there are actually transparent blue bricks on the back there. So when you look in these windows you can kind of see that in the back there so that's very cool. I like how they used all these jumper plates here and the pieces with the clips and the pieces with the handles. It just looks awesome. I love it. I like how they did the windows on the top there, just like on the real fountain. And I love how they did this awesome detailed part up here with the shield and the clips and the fences. I just love it overall. It's very detailed. I'm just going to turn around one more time so you guys can just see the detail that they put into this. With the roof and just the jumper plates and stuff, it just looks absolutely awesome and I love it. So now I'm going to briefly compare the Lego version of the Trevi Fountain to the um, picture of the real version on the back of this box. So first, there, there, there are three statues on the real fountain, and they did that by using those mini, mini figures there. They have the two horses here, just like on there and there, and they even did the rocks too, and they got the color of the water just right on there. And they even have the same number of windows as there are on the building in the back here. Right there, I just, you know, love how they paid attention to the details and everything. And to represent this big statue on top, they did that cool assembly there. And they just did a very good job. They even have the four columns along there, just like on the real thing. And it's just awesome. I love it. And they even have the fences on there, just like up there. And they even have the little panels. And everything in the smaller windows on top. They just paid attention to the little details, which I think is very 
important and I know it must have been hard to make a scale model because you can't get every detail in there you know you can't have too big of a set and you want it to be you know playable and to go along with the other architecture sets so I do think they did a very good job on this set alright so the set does come with a brick separator which I always love getting so I think I have seven now but I can never have too many brick separators they're just awesome and really useful when building and taking apart things and I what I love about the architecture sets besides just getting a brick separator and the actual set are the instruction booklets they're really thick and they're really just nice like the pictures in the front they show kind of the history of the Trevi Fountain some pictures of the building of it and they tell who designed it when it was built you know they just show some really cool pictures and everything and even just like building it they have I think better instructions than regular Lego sets. What I love is that you would think it'd be confusing when you're putting all these blue plates in, but they outline it in red what you're putting in. So I think that's really cool. And in the back here, let me see if I can find it, they tell about the designer and, you know, how they went along with designing the set. They show a picture of him there. So I thought that was really cool. And then there are just a few extra small pieces that come with this set. I got a few slopes, some one by one plates, some one by one two tiles, this cool piece with the clips, and a stud. So this is the Lego Architecture Trevi Fountain, set number 21020. So as much as I love this set, I know this was a pretty short review. You know, I try to cover all the details, but unlike city sets, which have you know, minifigures and accessories and probably multiple builds most of the time. This was just one build. It was, you know, compact and very detailed, but like the Leaning Tower of Pisa review, which I uploaded, I don't know, a couple of months ago, there's just not much to cover. You know, I love it, it has tons of details, but like I said, there's not many extra things. With the architecture line, you just get one awesome detailed building, which I really like. So overall, I think this um, designer did a an excellent job it's very realistic you know the point gets across and what it's supposed to be and it just looks awesome and also has really good pieces in my opinion for what I normally need and use in my mocks so I love this set and if you have it too I hope you love it as much as I do and thanks for watching guys